Welcome back to New Mexico State Sports Weekly. With a share of first place on the line, the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs entered the Pan American Center Monday night, and the Aggies proved why they are the team to beat in the WAC. Jamar Young hits the first basket of the game for New Mexico State. Young 11 first half points for NMSU. Wendell McKinnis working down low. Wendell four points and six rebounds in the first half. The Aggies would be down 15 at one point in the first half, but NMSU would fight back. Here's another Jamar Young jumper. 20 points in the game for Young. It was the 12th game of the season. He would finish with 20 or more. Here is Troy Gillenwater out on the run for NMSU. Gillenwater six points and five rebounds in the first half. NMSU down two late in the first half. Jonathan Gibson a jumper to tie it 33 all at the break. Second half now early. NMSU opens it on a 5-0 run. Wendell McKinnis the flush in transition. McKinnis six points and ten rebounds in this game for the Aggies. Troy Gillenwater, an outside jumper here. This one for three. 19 points, eight rebounds. NMSU building a 17-point lead in the second half. Magnum Roll keeping it close for Louisiana Tech. 18 points for Roll as the Bulldogs would fight all the way back to tie it late in the game. Kyle Gibson on a 13-0 run for Louisiana Tech. Gibson 16 points for Louisiana Tech. Here's a big play in the game. Two and a half minutes to go. Troy Gillenwater was fouled in transition, made the basket, and then makes two free throws on the intentional foul. Jamel Guyton, though, hit two monster threes for Louisiana Tech in the closing minutes. This is the final play of the game. Tie score. New Mexico State with the ball. Jamar Young misses a jumper, rebounded by Ernst LaRoche, and he sticks it back up and in, and the Aggies win it 70-68. to New Mexico State's bench would outscore Louisiana Tech 25-2. The Aggies are 8-2 in conference play.